I can say I have been a player and I know you can lead the team as you do, but it's may our responsibility as a team, as a player, that we lift you. Then when you we wake you and get you behind us, then no one can stop it. Yeah, it's kind of hot. Krista palasi teivät sen pakin pasteen, jota on tosi little bit. Yeah, so any questions or feelings or how you feel, what what you would like to see, how how you see any messages I could take back to players or the board or something, because I think it's very important with me how I work. You need to be critical. You need to be critical. That's mm. that's kind of you know the thing. But we need to have that faith and trust mm. between us. We need to. We can disagree things, and that's a football. It's a beautiful that everyone has a different opinion. But everything what we do, all the decisions, everything what we say. We think it's the best for the club. You know, we have always that idea. We can disagree here and talk and talk and talk. Mm-hmm. But all our your criticism and every it's best for the club. Mm-hmm. And that's how we take mm-hmm. this forward. And that's I think how it has been as well. So that's that's important. That's important. So mm-hmm. It's very important that the players uh, think uh, the supporters, even if they lose. Mm. Mm. It's, uh, it's always a uh, good feeling. Yeah, uh, that's, that's always should mm. be there, because uh, you are disappointed if lost, mm. players are disappointed mm. if lost, but still you have been there all mm. match, you know, supporting mm. team, so that's the that's so little what the players mm. can do. They, they need to come and thank you. That's mm. no question. Mm. And that's, that was the very, very first meeting I had with, with the players because mm. we are all here together. Hello. Hello. We win together, we lose together. Yeah. So it's not like when we win, then we come to you. Mm. When we mm. lose, we come mm. to you, say thank you, your support. Okay, mm. today we didn't win, but it's very important that, that we come, mm. come and say thank you for you. Excellent. Yeah. Mm. Every player. Yes, every, every player. Yeah, because I don't like that. You know, some try to go straight mm. in. No, no, mm. everyone needs to go there. And yeah. thank you. Say thank you for for your guys. Yeah, I bet that you. For fun, I'll tell you. Still, some questions. Can can you have about oversetting this? The Danish platform for English. How much will your tactics be influenced by, by the other team, the opposing team? Uh, yeah, good question. Um, how I see football, I think we as a team, we as a club, as a Tromsø, we need to have our own identity how we play. Mm. That's very important. That's, you know, the, but then in, in this level, you know, in the Premier League level, as all the top teams, you need to look a little bit the opponent. But every time there still needs to be that identity, our way to play. Mm. It can be different system what we play. It can be maybe what players we have available. Mm. That can you know make a difference to the tactics as well. Or then <coughs> the opponent, if they do something with the ball or without the ball that we need to take care, then maybe we need to change a little bit, you know to counter attack that tactic. But the biggest thing, we need to have the own identity how we play. I think that's very important. So everyone can see, okay, Tromso is playing now there. Mm-hmm. And like uh, Wallerenga now uh, on Monday, um, I was very, very happy how we played the first half. We tried to pass, we played the same. Then second half in football, it will happen that you need to defend and mm-hmm. how the boys defend it. They defend it so, so well. So. That's football as well. Mm-hmm. That's football. That, but that was a good question. But then I suppose you, you've seen the, the away match against Olesund. Mm. 
where there is one half with total possession and a very good half, and then they put on one player in the in the second half who changes the whole match, and he will be here tomorrow. He will be here tomorrow, and that has been take, taken care, you know. So, but now we have a little bit, you know, what has been maybe the problem uh, whole season with the Tromso. Big picture, you have one good game, then the next game is not that good. And as you said, it, it's the same, even in a little bit smaller picture inside the match, mm. that we can't get uh, like a clean 90 mm. minutes, you know. We can play first half well, and then the second half we are not that well. But what we have been talking a lot now, because we know the opponent, they will scout us as well, so they try to stop us. And we need to be ready for that, that when they change something, we need to have kind of a plan B inside with our identity, what we're going to do. So always we need to be ready, you know, what they do. And of course we see the line, starting lineup tomorrow and then we exactly know how, we, how we're going to go there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the best way, of course, you know, we can talk and we can talk and we can talk, but you know, the best way when we get the results, then it's, then it's, you know, then it's, then it's good. So. I think we all are very excited. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I'm very excited. They mm -hmm. are very excited, and like I, like I said, it, they are, they are disappointed where they are. They are not mm -hmm. that bad players. Mm -hmm. They are not that bad players. Are you feeling welcomed by the players in the group? They, um, they think they, it's okay that you come. Yeah, I think I think you know they have taken me very very good, very very good, and of course it's two way street that the players because the players they are not stupid. The players need to feel or they need to know that okay, this guy can help me. That's, you know, because they, they, trust, you they know? yeah, exactly, they, yeah. yeah, and I think with my stuff, what I have here, I'm happy with my stuff, and kind of we have starting to work a little bit differently than maybe before, and the players, they really like it, mm -hmm. but like I said, call this club, your supporters, you took me very warmly welcome, whole city, I, I like, I like the city, it's kind of open city, it's mm -hmm. easy city to come, so, so it's, yeah, it has been, it has been, and, it feels that I have been here longer now, but I've been only three matches, maybe three weeks now, four weeks now. So it's it's not that long time. <laughs> so yeah, it's is that a bad sign? No, I mean, I, I mean, I, 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 no, I, you know, because I have been in different places, and it always takes. That's that's very good sign because it takes time to find your own space or or your own pl place or but. <laughs> Very very first day, you know, I'm, I feel like you know, it feels like home, you know. It's like you that's know, good. and that's I think that's the positive side. Yeah. You don't feel that you're a visitor here or you know, <coughs> but you feel like you can be yourself here. So that's how I see that I feel very very happy here. And the banner Isberger had for you on the first game, uh, <laughs> I guess that was very yeah. touching. That that's what I said, you know. That was I, I I've been many places, but that was very very touching, you know. It was it was so thank you very very much, you know. When we have survived after season, you know, we we gonna have a good party then. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna have a good party, you know. <laughs> party on me and party on the club. We come, you know, we, we rent the place and we go, yeah. Yeah. Tell us about the uh, Olsen. Do you resign Olsen? Yermund. Yermund. Yeah. Um, I think he's a very talented player, and he's, I haven't known him before at all, and what his situation has been. Now I've been talking with him a lot. He wasn't happy how the season has been going so far, the style of football we have played and everything. Now, I had a very honest talk with him. He had a chance to go to Brun, and I said, if you feel that you want to go, and you think it's good for your career, we can work something out. But he said, no, now I feel I want to stay here. I want to take this challenge and see where we are now. 
that's you know so I don't know what's gonna happen after season but now we now he wants to stay here and get us up I would keep him I would sign him now for and that's kind of the process maybe what we start doing now but yeah and then Aaron Mikael mm-hmm. I think uh, they're very important players for the team now the both a little bit some muscle problems maybe that Mikael he wasn't Monday the Aaron feels a little bit his hamstring today he couldn't train fully so see what's the situation mm-hmm. tomorrow but they are coming they will be better and better as well you know and mm-hmm. see what's happening what's happening with them then. and I know Wook <coughs> maybe hasn't been that you know what you have been <coughs> expecting yeah, high, yeah. yeah mm-hmm. high, high and but I have to say this league where he came it's it's this is so different and I think what what was done there uh, he trained too much so he kind of you know get over over, over. Mm-hmm. so but now I can I can even you know when he came volering and now he was much sharper he was moving there and mm-hmm. so he starts getting back to his best so do not write him off yet he will he will come <laughs> and you know, score he, goals, he you know. was very good in the in the preseason the last matches in the preseason yeah. and he was great yeah together with the Moose Thumb yeah. Uh, yeah yeah so yeah so he he will he we know will that the potential is yeah there. the potential is yeah. there now it's just we need to get that potential out and it's coming it's coming mm-hmm. uh capitano seaman i think he has been since i have been here he has been great he has been a leader there he has played now well i think he likes that back three there as well he looks mm-hmm. comfortable there um ulrik ulrik uh, jensen i think he's a good football and potential but what i've seen and hearing that he hasn't been that good maybe you have been expecting but now he will be back as well so i'm expecting big things from him mm-hmm. so uh morten i think now dropping him a little bit deeper he hasn't he has been he has he's kind of you know how i see him uh, uh andrea pirlo like you know deep playmaker he has a little bit more time there with the ball he can pass it okay the defending is not the best but <laughs> we can't have everything you know so but in there he can be maybe a little bit with the ball more so so this this kind of you know the ideas behind those 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 things so um anything else yeah thomas you saw him here molde match very very good then Lillestrøm came he had a couple of chances got so frustrated like you know didn't score and that's the I had a big meeting with him one we won that that as a striker if you're gonna miss some chance first half and then you think oh I'm not gonna score this game is called you still have 60 minutes to score mm-hmm. 60 minutes to go you can be hero the last minute mm-hmm. as a striker you need to forget everything. I'm gonna, I'm gonna score. I'm gonna score. I'm gonna score. When the game is finished, then you can be disappointed. But don't be disappointed inside the game, yeah. because you never know. It can be the last kick of the game. You can be hero, and then after match, you can be disappointed. And then we try to find the solution or talk whatever. But inside the match, don't, don't, don't waste it. No, no, no. Every minute is valuable. And then Lil um, Wallerenga, he worked very hard. He was very good. One striker there. He did a good, good so tomorrow I think where we're gonna start we need to keep the clean seat as we did it it gives us you know the basic foundation to win the match and now we just need to take our finish our chances take our chances do you want uh, two strikers to match tomorrow it's kind of uh, that's we have been training now with the two striker but we haven't had enough maybe training sessions to go with the two strikers yet. So tomorrow it can be like one and a half. So we see tomorrow. We see tomorrow how it is. So. Yeah, we see tomorrow. It will be it's only one foot to make the goal. So mm. one half. Yeah, yeah. Yeah.
Claire, som har spørsmål til Simon. Nei, nå må Claire. Men vi får si at det er like at vi er mest tilgjengelig. Jeg må være veldig høyst her. Jeg må lære norsk. Da kan vi snakke. Da kan vi snakke. Da kan vi snakke. Det er veldig kaldt. Ja. Oh, it's it's been a pretty difficult season, and it's a it's a young squad, you know. Mm. How do you think the confidence is in the group? Of course, when you're losing that yeah. many games, you know the confidence it's not too good. No. But for me, how I see the football confidence. Actually, we had a meeting with the players uh, Thursday. Confidence is a. It's. How would I say, confidence. If you think confidence is some abstract, you know, what's the confidence? For yeah. me, football confidence, mm. I show the players, like I show, show them, I show them stats and data, what we have done. Wallerenga game. Yeah. Ball possession 50-50, we have more key passes than them, we have more challenges we want than them, we more shots at target than they had. Mm. That's, that's the confidence. That's good, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's the confidence. That's the players. They won't be confident. And I, I tell them, I tell them, be confident, be confident. Mm -hmm. That gives them, and that gives them the confidence that they know what we're gonna do there. But the winning is so it's a, like a miracle medicine, you know. And you are right, you know. It's just we can do all the things right. We can do everything. But if you don't, we don't win, then the confidence goes because no one is that strong. And now how much we have been losing, mm. of course the confidence is low. Exactly. But Kyllä we have been working with that confidence now. Kyllä on sjoltillit og sjoltbilder. Sjoltillit kan man ha, men sjoltbilder rammes et nytt så dårlig i løpet av denne vårsesongen. Og det lærer å gi dem tro at ja, vi er der, vi kan det, vi gjør det, vi kan gjøre det andre. And winning is a habit, and that's that's what we need to create for this club as well, that winning culture. Now, I think it, it has been a couple of years now, it, oh, just survive the relegates, oh, just survive the relegates. This club, this club can be much, much more. Let's bring the Atletico Bilbao back here. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that's, that's the thing. Not always against relegates, oh, we survive, that's we survive. Yeah. So that's, that this club can be much, much more. So, and that's why we need everyone to get to and have that dream, you know, and we work, we work very hard every day there. But the two sister songs have been put up for sister club. Two last yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. We have been breathing <laughs> until the last game yeah. was over. Yeah. <laughs> it will be exciting Snorker. 12 games now, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is it something more the supporters can do? Uh, be like uh, the, yeah. uh, I think that's uh, that's your job that you need to be there for the players the and support. you have been there that support yeah you have been there and we can't ask anymore like I said it you know it's it's not your job that you know you make us play well no first we need to make play well to to deserve your support you know you know okay you support anyhow I know because you you love the football club but we, we as a team, we need to, that's, that's enough that you are there, the players, and we see that you are there and you care, and we know that, and we want to play for you. So. And the energy will go back. Yeah, 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 It's not always about winning, but it's to come here and watch a great match, even though if we don't win, that sucks, but... <laughs> I want to watch good football. Good. Yeah. And see the players giving everything what they have. Yeah. 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 Because then if you see the good football and you see the players giving everything what they have, that's more likely mm. that we win matches more often yeah. as well. That's how it goes. That's how it goes. Yeah. Jan och Jan och Jan. <laughs> For a couple of months ago I was in Barcelona and we saw Espanol and Valencia. Okay. And Espanol coach, he has a little thing in the middle of the match. Suddenly he started like this. 
and all the audience. Oh, yes. ah. A couple of minutes, and then he stopped and all of this. I haven't seen that before. <laughs> no, no. Ah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you did. Yeah, yeah. At first, he didn't understand what the people are um, yeah, yeah, for, yeah, yeah. because yeah. it was nothing special. But, uh, mm. That was the quote. Okay. Yeah. That was very funny. Very good. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Like I said, it, you know, I would like to. Actually, I have said to board as well that you know, we should meet more often as well because it's good that I could give you some inside info what's what's happening. So because it's oh, good that inspired. yeah, and yeah. and then it's mm. good that you know why we have done maybe some mm. why he's playing, why he's not playing. So it's easier to understand mm. why we do that. And I said to board and you know whoever takes care that, you know, it, it can be once, once a month, you know, mm -hmm. these kind of, you know, one hour we come and sit and, you know, you can tell how you feel, I can tell, you know, how the team feels, you know, mm -hmm. how, how, how is, you mm -hmm. know, things. So it's very important that we work closely mm -hmm. and get the players here as well. That was now my choice that no one, no player came here mm -hmm. because I wanted them to concentrate the mm -hmm. game, mm -hmm. game yeah. tomorrow. Mm. Mm. Will you play any yeah. friendlies in the in the break now? Or? Yeah, we play that Thursday. We play that that okay. tool, tool of, you know the one o'clock by data kickoff. Data kickoff on Thursday yeah. 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 next week. Yeah, on day place there over the bridge. Yeah, some yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, friendly derby. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a friendly, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but that's why I wanted to take that because it's it, it's friendly, but it's not a friendly. Mm. It's a derby, so you need to win, you know. Yeah. Creating that culture to win again, you know. So. Mm. In the yeah. ninety minutes, yeah. not friendly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Hey, okay. Football's never friendly, you know. It's always play for the win. Play for the win. Hey, thank you very much. Thank Thanks for coming. You know, you took your time, you know, to come here. You know, it was very good, good to talk. She wants to know your English team. My English team. Um, I love <laughs> favorite team. I know. TV. Oh, TV. Um, I have to say, funny enough, I don't have a favorite team. I love Premier League, uh -huh. but I like I like Liverpool. Yeah. I have been there many times watching the game. I like now Chelsea. I like Man United. So I I I love the good football matches. You know, so. No, I don't have I don't have a team. <laughs> I, I I don't have it. You know, I don't have it. But I was happy that Chelsea won last year, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you.